Yo, my name is Benjamin, and in this video, I'll show you how to design overlays in Framer Sites. I want to cover three patterns. A slide-in sidebar, a slide-in top bar, and a centered modal window. Let's start with our sidebar. Here I have a button, and I would like clicking on this button to trigger our sidebar overlay. To add an overlay, I can simply click on the overlays header in the property panel, and doing so brings me into overlay edit mode. Here you get a backdrop applied by default and a bunch of properties you can use to customize your overlay. You also get the viewport control. This means that all layers within your overlay are positioned relative to the viewport. You can draw layers like you normally would. Styling, layout, and even adding effects all work like you're used to. This means I can also copy and paste layers I have already designed directly onto the overlay. So let's copy and paste our sidebar. I'm going to give it 20 pixels of margin. And we can click done to exit the overlay edit mode. And let's give this a preview. Now clicking on our button gives us our sidebar and our backdrop, both appearing and disappearing instantly. Notice how our sidebar sits on top of our icon, yet our trigger sits on top of the sidebar. This is because I have manually added a Z-index property to the trigger, which you can see over here. Giving your trigger a higher Z-index allows you to use it as a toggle for your overlay, meaning I can use the button to both open and dismiss the overlay. Next, let's add some animations to our overlay. To go back into the overlay edit mode, I can simply click on overlay. And let's give this a different preset. So setting a preset will override these properties below which you could also customize if you would like. And let's also add an appear effect to our sidebar. Here we also get a bunch of presets. I'm gonna select slide in left, but let's customize it a little bit. Now let's give this a preview. There we go. Now we have a backdrop that fades in and out and a sidebar that slides in from the left. We could customize this further. So maybe we want our backdrop to be transparent. Nice. As you can see, you can have a backdrop that is completely transparent, yet still dismissible. So that's pretty much it for our sidebar. Let's quickly turn this into a top bar instead. I can remove my sidebar and bring in our top bar. I'm gonna add 20 pixels of margin again. And let's give this a slide in top preset, which I think will do just fine. And now if we give this a preview, we have very quickly designed a simple slide in top bar. Finally, let's have a look at the modal. I'm gonna copy and paste this in, center it, 
Now let's make this a blocking modal, meaning it has a backdrop, but it's not dismissible. So how now would we close out of the overlay? So any layer you draw or paste onto your overlay has access to a close overlay interaction, which you can add right here. So we're adding a close overlay interaction to our close icon here. And let's also give our modal a skill in preset. That's fine. And let's have a look. So now our modal is not dismissible by clicking outside of the modal itself, but I can click on the close icon to dismiss the overlay. And there we go. That was a quick look at how to design overlays in Framer Sites. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.